day to you all my lovely people. Hello and welcome to Day Moments. Today we're going to be answering a question that I got from one of my wonderful YouTube subscribers who I love dearly more than anyone in the world. She shared last week's video and therefore got to ask me any question she wanted to. And I'm now making an entire video about it because that's how I roll. This is an important part of the process because if I don't have things to talk about, I don't have content. Questions, please. CONTENT! Yay. This particular subscriber asked me, Dalen, what was your worst nightmare? Wait, wait, before you run away from this video in fear. Bear in mind that I am a very unique kind of person and this dream is going to be... not scary. And now it's time for Context with Dalen. At this point in my life, I had braces on and they were very, very painful. Whenever I got the wires changed out, I couldn't eat anything solid for about a week, which was really a problem because I got them changed out every two weeks. Pro tip, if your diet consists largely of porridge, either you're a Puritan and it's like colonial times, or there's something wrong. It consisted of a counter, which was black, and a wall which was black and nothing else just the, those two just these dimensions right here oh but wait there is something it's a platter pristine white platter what could be on it a brisket this big slowly slowly cutting this piece of brisket just a nice little sliver but what happens when it comes off i've cut a piece out but there's no piece cut out it's just, it's completely whole still. So I cut the piece off again. And the same thing happens. And again, and again, and again. Like Sisyphus, I cut off this piece of brisket over and over again, never getting to taste it. Seven hours of cutting the brisket. It's not a euphemism. Now, as we know, there is a positive side to everything. I also had a dream that lasted for seven hours where I was riding a surfboard, surfboard, yeah, sure, why not, riding a surfboard through a tornado in shorts. I was wearing shorts, not the tornado, and I was firing a minigun, like a great big Gatling gun, machine gun type thing, uh, at nothing in particular, just to do it, which is probably right up there in the number of badass things that have ever happened. It's pretty near the top. There's like anything Teddy Roosevelt ever did ever, and then that's number two. Hold on a minute, I'm gonna go get my younger brother. He's our resident Teddy Roosevelt expert. Hi. Hi. He knows things about Teddy Roosevelt because he wrote a paper about him. Once. It was five pages long. What is one element of Teddy Roosevelt badassery? Okay, well, probably one of the most badass things is he was uh, on his third presidential campaign. So he's going on stage, and he gets shot in the chest. The folded up piece of paper for his speech, the bullet lodged in that, and it went through that, but because it went through the piece of paper, it didn't kill him. And, you know, most people who get shot in the chest stop. And they go down, but not Teddy Roosevelt. No, Teddy Roosevelt goes on stage and delivers his speech with a bullet lodged in his chest. That's Teddy Roosevelt. General Badass. General Badass would be the best person in the army ever. Can you do that noise effect again? Please remember to like and subscribe. And please, if you want to support me in making more of these videos, 
then share this video and ask me a question. I will answer that question in next week's video, and in so doing, we will create a world in which Daymelon, which is my YouTube tag, is a thing. Okay, until next week, bye, lady. Oh, that was not... I'm supposed to go like that. Bye, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's going in the video. I hope you know that. Is it still recording? Yeah.